Welcome back, Panthers, to another exciting year at Pillion High School. Your teachers, counselors, and administration are excited to welcome you back to school. Your teachers have been working very hard over the summer to make the school year the best yet, and there have been some several exciting changes made that we hope will increase your enjoyment at Pillion High School. But first, let's meet our administration and our counselors. Mr. Hearn, the principal, is entering his third year as principal at Pillion High School. One of the assistant principals is Mr. Gooding, and he serves students with the last names beginning with A through G. Another assistant principal is Miss Page, who serves students with the last names beginning with H through O. And the final assistant principal, Mr. Williams, serves students with the last names beginning with P through Z. Your counseling department is led by Miss Burke, Director of Counseling. She serves students with the last names beginning with A through C. Miss Hartley serves students with last names beginning with D through MC. And Miss Walker, our final counselor, serves students with the last names beginning with ME through Z. One of the first changes you'll notice is to the bell schedule. In changing the bell schedule, the announcement time that was previously fit in at the end of first block has been removed. Announcements will now take place during Pride on Fridays. More on that in a moment. There will, however, be a small and brief announcement period immediately following the AM tardy bell at 8.05. The bell to begin school rings at 8 a.m. with the tardy bell ringing at 8.05 a.m. and the bell to dismiss school rings at 3.15 p.m. Pride is one of the changes you'll see in the schedule. Instead of traveling to a different block each day, you will now report to your pride each day at 11.05 a.m. and stay for 40 minutes. There, teachers will take attendance. With the school's focus on literacy, power skills, and socio-emotional development, a change in pride was made. The first 20 minutes of pride is what's considered non-negotiable. Students are not permitted to leave class during this time for meetings, events, etc., nor will there be any all calls, student services calls, or school announcements that will take place. This will be a time for a school-wide focus on literacy, test preparation, and socio-emotional development. The days are broken up into themes, beginning with Monday's Pride Lesson. The Pride Lesson will focus on the socio-emotional development in four stages. Mondays in the first of the month will be team building. The second Monday of each month will focus on a power skill. The third Monday of each month will be a grade-specific lesson and the fourth Monday of each month will focus on a service learning project. Tuesday's focus will be on a math ACT SAT practice question. Wednesday's first 20 minute focus will be a literacy practice session. Thursday's first 20 minutes will focus on a science ACT SAT practice question. And finally on Friday for the first 20 minutes will be what's called First Chapter Friday where you and your pride will focus on a book to read together. The second half of Pride is built more for students to be able to plan, contact, be informed, and handle your student business. On Monday, this, Mondays is what's called Panther Personalization. This is where you will have a chance to organize your calendar, check emails, work with your Pride leader in scheduling times to meet with teachers, attend club meetings, and more of your business that you need to handle throughout the week. Tuesdays through Thursdays, second half of Pride, will be what's called Panthers on the Prowl. This is where you, with a pass, can get help from other teachers, attend club meetings, attend athletic signings, and much, much more. Again, you must have a pass to be able to leave that second 20, half, 20 minutes of pride. Finally, on Fridays, will be a Pillion High School television show. This will focus on the news and happenings from the past week and upcoming week for Pillion High School. And now a little focus on the MacBook distribution program that will happen this week for our students. Some of our seniors have already been issued a MacBook, but that's okay. I still want to make sure that there's an understanding of how a MacBooks will be distributed for the remainder of the week. As you may or may not know, today, Tuesday, seniors will be issued MacBooks. Wednesday, juniors will be issued MacBooks. Thursday, sophomores. And then Friday, freshmen. The following Monday will be a makeup day for anybody who was not able to get a MacBook. Students will be called down to the Commons area during periods 1, 2, and 4 by Pride. 
Students, it's very important that you pay attention to who your pride leader is so that when you hear that pride leader's name called over the announcement, you know to go to the commons area. During that time, you will review a video from our school superintendent, Dr. Greg Little, and then you will attend a station where MacBooks will be distributed and issued to you. In station one, your MacBook will be scanned into Destiny and charging cords will be distributed. In station two, students will set up their MacBooks and you'll follow district provided instructions. And in station three, we'll have what's called the Mac attack where expectations will be led with the DLC, our digital learning coach, in administration. Finally, students, I wanna make sure you turn and thank your pride leader. They put all of your cases on the computers as well as unbox them and pulled off any plastic. They all worked hard last week in making your MacBook experience better and easier. So go ahead, I'll wait, give them a round of applause and tell them thank you. Again, students, we hope that this is a great first day of school for you. We understand there's a lot of newness going on at the school. And if you have any concerns, please let an administrator, a counselor, or your pride leader know. We welcome you back. We're excited for a great new year and have a wonderful